Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. I am. I have the pleasure of having Daniel Brown in my kitchen today, who is part owner in PF. Help, help me out. B B F R, F -R which is Brown Farm Ridge. Farm Ridge. And he asked me to do some um, hamburger recipes, uh, beef recipes, um, for the Super Bowl, and he's doing some kind of bundle through yep. your website that you can buy and you deliver where? From Boone to Wilmington. Boone to Wilmington. So I'm going to share a couple recipes with you, but as I'm working, I want you to tell, you know, tell me about what you do, tell me about your beef, tell me whatever you want viewers to know, especially your website and that information, okay? But today I'm going to be doing a queso dip that is a meat lover's queso dip, which your base is a brown hamburger. And I want y'all to see like how much, how little grease this was when we browned it. Because why? It's 910. 910. So I'm going to pour that into here. This is going to be our queso dip. Let me see if I can work that way. There we go. And it's family owned. Yep, we in, found the farm. In Boone, North Carolina. And tell me about your mom. I think that's interesting. My, she is. My mom is a food microbiologist by trade, but um, she runs our beef business. Um, and all of our beef is, is premium ground, a grain fed beef. Um, so it's well marbled, so it has a lot more flavor, a lot more it's tenderer, it's well marbled. It's really good beef. I like that. And. Who doesn't like to cook with beef, right? That's right. That's right. So Everybody's this, friend. That's right. So I'm going to tell you what to make on, on Super Bowl Sunday. You ready? All right, you got this queso dip. We got a pound of ground beef that we ground. We got eight slices of bacon that I tried to chop, but it just went everywhere, which is part of keeping it real. So I just tore it up with my hands, give my hands a wash, and then we'll put the rest of the ingredients in. We're going to put 16 ounces of Velveeta. Look, I'm going to let you do this. You can get your hands out of your pocket. I'm going to put you to work. I'll let you do that, and I'll put the spices in while you're doing that. Here's your knife. Cut it open. Look, you don't get to visit my kitchen without working a little bit. You don't mind, do you? No. I think I've heard that you're quite the cook, too. I'm all right. Uh-huh. You get by? That's right. You're going to have to get by. You get married in May. You're going to have to have some something you can bring to the table, right? Yeah. Right. Now, until the, it, up until the Super Bowl, we run the deal. All right, you're going to run. I, I'm supposed to tell what this is. This is chili no beans. Sorry. Chili no beans. One can of chili no beans. All right, tell me about your Super Bowl special. Okay, until the Super Bowl, up until the Super Bowl, we run the deal. Beef ribs and hamburger, ground beef, 9010, all $3 a pound. Ribs and ground beef. Awesome. Now you can cut this up. I want you to just cut, yep, just keep it, and we're going to dump that in there. You put everything into your crock pot. I'm going to put a cup of milk, and I'll post the recipe because I know we're kind of all over the place. I'm going to put one tea, to one tablespoon of lime juice. This sounds pretty good. And then I'm going to put um, two teaspoons of paprika. I'm going to redo these. I put these in there? Yeah. Have at it. All right, two teaspoons of paprika. And one tea, half a teaspoon of cumin, which you could put more cumin if you want to, if you like it hot. Do you like heating yours? I do. All right. I'm going to put half a teaspoon of cayenne and a half a teaspoon of cumin and two to four teaspoons of chili powder. And we're going to put this on low and slow for two hours. And that cooks up and then serve it with tortilla chips. One, two, three, four. I'm going to give that a stir. Where'd my spoon go? Give that a stir for me there. And there you have it. Meat Lovers Crock Pot Queso Dip with Daniel Brown. That's right. And this recipe will be on your Facebook. It'll be on my Facebook. And you can go on to your uh, website through my Facebook, right? Yep. We'll put, I've already posted the website, so yep. go on there and check it out. And you can find us on Instagram and Facebook as BFRB.
There you go. So if you thought about keeping it real with Daniel, we'll be back in just a few minutes. We're going to do the rest of our beef ribs on the grill, and we're going to do um, garlic, minced garlic sliders. That's right. All right.